Boris Johnson slammed the totally unacceptable number of migrants risking their lives by crossing the English Channel. On Monday, at least 430 people, including women and young children, made the journey, a new record for a single day. More than 8,000 migrants are thought to have succeeded in crossing the Channel so far in 2021. Scores more have already arrived at beaches along the English coast today, with figures for the year so far close to topping totals for the entire of 2020. MPs in Parliament are debating new immigration legislation that looks to crack down on illegal crossings, attacking people smuggling gangs organizing the daily trips, the Prime Minister's official spokesman said. The current approach we're seeing isn't working. The rise in dangerous and unnecessary small boat crossings is totally unacceptable. We know more needs to be done. That's why we have our new plan for immigration. To fix the broken asylum system. We're changing the law through the Nationality and Borders Bill to help protect lives and break the business model of these smuggling networks who treat people like human cargo. We're also targeting the criminal gangs who are responsible for these illegal crossings at every level. We've also doubled the number of police officers on the ground in France leading to more interceptions and arrests of those behind this cruel trade. MPs will tonight vote on the Nationality and Borders Bill which officials hope will be the most comprehensive reform in decades to the asylum system. It looks to remove those from the UK who have no legal right to be here and means migrants entering without permission could face up to four years in prison. The bill also looks to help make it easier for genuine asylum seekers to apply for right to remain in Britain from abroad. Speaking yesterday, Home Secretary Preeti Patel said, The British people have had enough of open borders and uncontrolled migration. Enough of a failed asylum system that costs the taxpayer over a billion pounds a year. Enough of dinghies arriving illegally on our shores, directed by organized crime gangs. Enough of people drowning on these dangerous, illegal and unnecessary journeys, she added. The British people have repeatedly voted to take back control of our borders. They finally have a government that is listening to them. Our priorities are the people's priorities. For the first time in decades we will determine who comes in and out of our country. Labour has attacked the plan as an attempt to talk tough, but will deliver nothing. Shadow Home Secretary Nick Thomas Simon said, it is a bill that is wrong and it will make the dangerous situation we are seeing in the English Channel worse. We on these benches to do not want to see people risking their lives making a sea crossing in some of the busiest shipping lanes in the world, often in boats that are unfit for purpose. The measures proposed will not address this.